All right, I have two murders at different bookshops. One is in London and another one is in the US. I also have a murder at a Scottish castle and another one where someone sees somebody be murdered across the lake, but did she? I don't know, the sun was out, there was a glare on the lake. So let's talk about all of these new cozy mystery releases that are coming out this month. And if you are new here, welcome to the Lisa C cozy mystery mingle which is a video podcast and you might be new because this is the first video for the actual whole podcast series we're gonna come out with the new videos every single week i am hoping to live stream them on tuesdays and like i said they're mingles so in theory we should have authors that we're gonna feature on this channel um and hopefully that they'll have book giveaways i mean i should say hopefully for sure they will have book giveaways i'm gonna line that up so if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to show up live, you will have the opportunity to win one of those books that they're gonna give away. So make sure to join my mailing list, find out when we're going live. I can't really set a live, like a set time, only because, you know, people have schedules and times change and time zones and all that good stuff. So Tuesday is the target date and the exact time you have to be on the mailing list to find out. Um, I will also post it to social. But what we're gonna do is every month, I'm gonna do what I call my fast five. So I have five recommendations for you. All of the new releases that are coming out in January are on my channel and on my website. It is called lisaseifert.com slash new releases. So it's just that easy to find. Um, also, if you're on my mailing list, I will feature them there as well. Uh, now, this is not to say none of the other videos or the other books are that great. They're all amazing. I just quickly picked out five randomly. Hopefully the other authors will be featured on this channel, but let's go ahead and get into that list for today. If you are a cozy mystery reader or just thinking about reading cozy mysteries, this could be a really great place for you to find some new books to kind of check out. So, all right, the first book, and again, these are in no particular order. This is The Sign of Four Spirits, a Sherlock Holmes bookshop mystery by Vicki Delaney. This is book nine in the series. Looks like it's super popular and and it is about a woman who owns, as you guessed it, a bookshop that is all about Sherlock. She has a super fan who has talked her into going to a seance. Now, she is a, you know, common sense, uh, no frills, not into that touchy-feely stuff. So, like, I feel a connection to this character. And she gets talked into going to the seance where there is her, you know, favorite bookstore uh, patron who, you know, is the one that talked her into it. And then there's, like, a pop star and there's also a baker, um, her best friend's going, or someone else from the store is going, and somehow she gets kicked out, probably like me, she maybe did a double eye roll at the whole seance thing. Anyway, she's listening through the door, and she hears them find out, tell, you know, this. the medium tells them, hey, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle isn't going to make the seance, and then somehow there's a scream, there, someone falls dead on the table. She rushes back in and she was guarding the only door. No idea how this person died. And so now she is on the case to figure it out, which I, when I read that description, I was like, oh, maybe there's a secret door, right? Like this is a charlatan who does seances. Yeah, I know. I don't believe in those. So it is possible she has, you know, a bunch of like trick lights and, you know, smoke coming in or cameras or someone coming in and making noise or something to that effect to help like really sell the seance experience. So that's what I was thinking. I'm very excited about this book. I think you need to read the other books in the series to actually enjoy this. So definitely worth checking out. This book is published by Avon, which first of all, I didn't even know that Avon published anything but romances. And most specifically, I thought they only did historical romances. But Anyways, this is a cover for murder by Sue Minix. It is book number four in the bookstore mysteries, and it is about Jen, who owns her own bookstore, and it, she also writes murder mysteries, and her rival bookstore shop across town, the owner has been murdered, and for some reason, they think that she did it because I guess she's the only one with motive, so she is trying to figure out who did it. The next one is Murder at a Scottish 
Castle, which is a Scottish Shire mystery by Tracy Hall. Now, this is book number five in the series. It's a Kensington cozy and it is a knitting cozy. So we got two awesome things going for us. One is in Scotland and pretty much after Outlander, I think the whole world is just kind of obsessed with Scotland. I have yet to meet a Scottish guy ever in my entire life. Um, I have a Scottish friend who's a woman, but not, I've never, no, no men. So anyways, it is going to be very exciting because it's in a castle and there is a bagpipe competition. So if you're like looking to get immersed into Scotland and the Scottish world and what's going on, this is going to be the book for you. Anyway, so the bagpipers are, I guess, really into being known as the world renowned or the Scottish renowned top bagpiper. And anyways, one of the guys dies and he's in a heated competition with the other reigning champion and so it is up to her to figure out the who actually killed him because she was actually invited to this special event by a dowager which I'm not even sure a dowager countess so I'm not sure what the whole hierarchy and royalty names and I didn't even know that they stood, still had royalty in Scotland but apparently they do. So you can learn a little bit more about that probably in this mystery as well. The next book is The Dark Across the Lake by Krista Davis and this is a Berkeley cozy mystery. This is book number nine in the Paws and Claws mystery book. Now we read the first book for the Cozy Escape book club like years ago. And honestly, I just lost track. I didn't realize they were like already, they're on book nine. So, so she's like cracking these books out. If you like that series, which I very much did, it was very cute. I think you will probably also like this as well. So she is trying to relax. And when I say she, I mean Holly who owns the bed and breakfast, which is pet friendly because who wants to go on vacation without their pet? She's relaxing on her patio. She looks across the lake. She sees this cute red dog and and the next morning she wakes up and the dog is in bed with her. I would love that. Like I would just like to wake up and there's a cute, adorable, fluffy, loving puppy dog just hanging out with me. I don't know that that's ever gonna happen, but that happens to her. And so she ends up returning the dog to her cousin, who she hasn't seen in a decade, which I guess he didn't want to stay at the Airbnb that she had, even though he clearly has a pet. But he was out camping. So she returns the dog. The dog comes back again. She has to return it a second time. And the second time she returns the dog, she finds that the tent is empty. And one of her guests is inside there, and he's dead. So her cousin and his girlfriend, who he came camping with, is like missing. And clearly, they didn't even want to take their dog with. I mean, who, like, can we get a leash for this little dog? Anyways, so now she is trying to figure out what's going on. It's obviously her cousin. She's going to keep the dog, take care of the dog. Because honestly, if the dog was missing, I guess I would be worried about the dog. So it's better that the dog is with her. But anyways, I really like the series. So I think this sounds like a super cute book that is totally worth checking out. And the last book is The Hit Woman Gets Caught. And it's book 41 in the Confessions of a Slightly Neurotic Hit Woman by J.B. Lynn. I know, 41 books. Who even, I don't think I've even read 41 books in any one series. I can't believe this person had enough time to write 41 books. I think that's pretty amazing. Clearly, people really like this series. And I also like the idea of a funny, like comedic kind of hit woman. Anyways, I think the whole premise of this series is that she's not a very good hit woman. She goes, in this series, she goes actually to the bank with her dad to get something out of a security deposit box. And there's a botch robbery there. And so I don't know if she's in the bank. That's like kind of the only description you get. And most likely if you are like someone who's reading book 41 out of this series, you already are just excited about this book. And I've always wanted to read this series. I keep seeing these books like popping up. So anyways, I thought I would feature it in case that's something you want. It is not your typical cozy mystery protagonist. So I like that too. You know, we all could just try something different. So why not? So that's a wrap on all five books. So let me just recap those for you really quick. Uh, the first one is The Sign of Four Spirits. This is book number nine by Vicki Delaney and the Sherlock Holmes bookshop mysteries. The second one was A Cover for Murder by Sue Minks, which is book four in the bookstore mysteries. The third one is Murder at a Scottish Castle, which is book number five in the Scottish Shire mysteries by Tracy Hall. And the fourth one is The Dog Across the Lake, which is book nine 
Nine in the Paws and Claws Mystery by Krista Davis. And book number five is The Hit Woman Gets Caught, which is book 41 by J.B. Lynn. So remember, I have way more new releases over on my website. It is lisasiefert.com slash new releases. And also, we are going to be fix featuring other new releases and give you a chance to meet the authors here because it is called the Cozy Mystery Mingle. And so if you want to meet your authors on that live stream, ask them some questions, get an opportunity to win that book, make sure to subscribe to my mailing list. I'm putting it below, but you know, it's a podcast, so I'm not really sure how that works. I guess check the description or just go to lisaseifert.com. You're going to find it. I know. How do you spell Seifert? Just just guess. It's S-I-E-F-E-R-T. Uh, and I will see you there. And if you're an author and you have a new release coming out, you want to be on the Mystery Mingle, de definitely drop me a note and we will make it happen. All right. Hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful and great start to their January. I hope all of your goals and dreams come true for this year, this month. And I will talk to you guys next week. All right. Bye.